I got you. This is part two. Proof from the Bible that we live in this. Not this. This one's gonna get a lot deeper than the last one. In the last video, we talked about Genesis chapter one. God made the firmament that divided the waters from the waters. And some of you said the firmament is just another word for sky. You're wrong. This is Job 37, 18. Hast thou with him spread out the sky, which is strong and as molten looking glass. If that's not enough for you, here's a clip of Hillary talking about them trying to break through the glass firmament. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million cracks. We're not done. Proverbs. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, depth referring to the seas. When he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not pass his commandment. So what is this compass that God placed on the face of the earth to stop the waters from exceeding his commandment? Another word for compass, boundary. The boundary is the Antarctic ice wall that goes around the entire earth keeping the water from exceeding God's commandment. I'll do one more and then y'all gotta blow this up and I'll make a part three. Isaiah 40. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. Which seems more like a circle with a tent to dwell in. This one? Or this one? I'm sure you know the answer. Why would they want to lie to us about the shape of the earth? How about the fact that it limits the resources? Limits the amount of land that humans can inhabit? How about it gives an excuse to Look like this to depopulate the earth because it's getting too full. Or maybe they would lie because they want you to believe in the Big Bang Theory. That everything occurred by random. We got fucking lucky. The universe was just like, bam, life. This disproves a creator. Every religion mentions a firmament. There's even a Saudi cleric that says we do not revolve around the sun. More specifically, he says the earth is stationary and does not move. And then I got the fuck is asking on a flat earth model how is the sun and moon inside of the dome wouldn't it be day and night at the same time look how high the moon is above isn't the that horizon. the moon and look how close it is to the sun isn't that the right sun there huh 93 million miles away huh don't look like it to me me neither david and right there is your moon oh wait there's more for those of you that can't believe that there's waters above this is a close-up of the moon. This shit looks like the bottom of the ocean floor. Come on. Now, if they told us the fucking truth and told us that there was all these lands out here, you think we would be listening to their bullshit? No. We'd leave and go run our own shit. Now for the people asking, where does astrology fit into all of this? The stars are under the firmament as well. Now we all know who this is. A fucking goat, Nikola Tesla. And he said, and I quote, we are held together like the stars in the firmament. Now for the people who saying, why can't we just see the edge of the earth? Do y'all not see this ring going around here? When's the last time you seen a motherfucker? Hey, I just came back from vacation to Antarctica. Never, bitch. You can't fucking go and if you do go they're only gonna let you to a certain area and you think they doing that because they're trying to protect penguins like this shit don't even make sense to me this ain't even a real photo it's fucking cgi okay okay i got you because i i forgot that this was actually one of the hardest things for me to grasp as well and yeah the gift doesn't really work very well so let me let me do something okay okay so here we have flat earth and um let me let me get okay we have our sun so according to the flat earth model the sun spins like this right on the opposite side of the sun we have our moon and just like a pendulum they kind of keep each other in rotation so as you can see the sun is still rising and setting over everything it could still rise and set so yeah that's uh how the flat earth model explains that yay research operation paperclip 
research operation paperclip i will say it one more time research operation paperclip you will be a little wiser and you will get closer to reality but keep your mind positive at all times that's the key listen to the media repeat basically the same line over and over and over all on different stations while looking for health information in the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information in the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information in the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information in the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information on the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information on the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information in the Twitterverse. Be extra cautious while looking for health information on Twitter. Be extra cautious while looking at health information on Twitter. Be extra cautious while looking for health information on Twitter. Be extra cautious while looking for health information on Twitter. Be extra cautious while you're looking for health information on Twitter. Be the words flat earth used to be in the Bible. William Tyndale literally paid with his life to give us the first English Bible. After he was burned at the stake in 1536, John Rogers, among others, finished his work, ultimately producing the Matthews Bible. Rogers was also burned at the stake, in 1555. Needless to say Flat Earth was quickly replaced, only a few years later around the same time the Jesuits were formed. The Earth is flat and evolution is fake. First law of evolution states that life requires the temporary creation of order and must follow the laws of thermodynamics. But the second law of thermodynamics states that entropy must be constant or increasing, and never decreasing. This is proof. But you want to look at pictures of the Earth that NASA has fed you. They're all CGI, composite images. That's why they call them images. But since you mentioned pictures, which one is the real picture of the Earth? These are all official NASA images, not photographs. Images. Which one's the real one? What about these two images, man? 2012, 2002. Has America just changed sizes? Or maybe this is the real image of the Earth back in 2012. So you have to believe that just that little circle right here is actually projected on the front of that globe. So that means the rest of all of this Earth is on the back side. Hello, mate. What about this one? 934 mile segment right here you should be able to fit eight of these to equal the diameter of the earth so which one is the real image that you're speaking of or are you talking about the famous blue marble image where robert simmons a nasa digital artist literally said he photoshopped the earth see all these clouds right here all they are are just copy and pasted here i'll let him tell you between each orbit so some of those are painted on. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. So if nothing could ever convince you that the Earth is flat, I guess you can just keep believing in this and have them convince you that it's round. Why the lie? The most important question of all about the flat slash globe discussion debate is why. The lie. But before I go into that, what I want to say is the most valuable property on earth is the landscape of your mind. Once they purchase this from you with all their lies and their media and their TV and all this stuff, once they purchase this, you'll give them anything else they want for free. So gain control of this. So why the lie? They want you to believe that you're a speck of dust on a speck of dust flying through a never-ending vacuum of space, twisting and hurling and spinning and twirling in four different directions through space. That you're nothing, you're nobody, you're not significant. You was created 
from nothing by a big bang, an accident, and then evolved from pond scum into what you are today. That you don't know who you are, where you are, who made you. You're nothing. You're insignificant. But you're not insignificant. You are a creation of the Creator. And that's going to make people laugh. It's going to make some people mad. But there is a Creator, the Creator. He is the Most High. So they want to make you believe that you're nothing, though, and you wasn't created by a Creator. But there is a Creator. When you reconnect with Him through this lie, through this deception, you see the world like you've never seen it before. Once you see this deception, once you truly grasp it, and not just hearing me say it, not just hearing me say it, I'm talking about once you really grasp this and understand this deception and it hits you in the heart and you accept it in the heart, then you really see why the lie. You start treating others differently. You start seeing others differently. You start looking at nature differently. You start looking at animals differently. You start looking at your job differently and money differently. And you start looking at all these things differently. Because when this deception, when your eyes are opened up to this deception, this whole world changes. This place is clearly intelligently designed, made by a creator. So that's my number one reason why they would lie. One of the other reasons is there could be land past Antarctica with more resources. Who knows? There might be. Just look around you. This place is intelligently designed by an intelligent designer. We are living in the Truman Show in the middle of the matrix. But once you figure this thing out, once you figure this deception out, you break free from the matrix. Deceptions are no longer taking a hold of you. They no longer have control over your mind. Wake up, break free from the matrix, and come out of that Truman Show. If you haven't seen those movies, watch them. How's the moon so transparent? I don't think it's transparent myself. I think that that's uh, I don't know why it's like that like it we're seeing blue sky right there you know I couldn't tell you why that is I think it's because the moon is a light it's a light it's definitely a light how can a light be measurably colder than its shade because we don't understand what the moon is we don't probably don't even understand what light is but yeah you're right um, the moon it's if you like take one of those thermometer those what are, what are they called a laser thermometer or whatever i have one and if you point it at stuff that's in the moon shade it's like consistently weird the opposite of what you'd think but it it is that way so please tell me that you don't believe people played golf and drove car oh a lot of people believe that but i don't believe that I believe that there's strong delusion so that people will believe a lie. That's what I believe. Thanks, Burnt Mac, Lynn, FBI. I like that. I like that. Because, yeah, nobody... Yeah. I think that they believe they did. I really think that they believe that they did. Like, I believe that the pictures they took up there are probably... However, don't ask me how, but they're like pictures of a of a place that they experience those astronauts experience but i think the astronauts are not people that all comes from the book of enoch and and the book of revelation i think they're unclean spirits uh play, taking the form of men and living a life on earth until they go up into their their prison and play the role of an astronaut that's what i think I just can't, yeah, I can't, the story that I was taught growing up is not true, not at all. Like the earth being a globe, not true. Could I say it's flat? For the most part, it's flat, but I could never say it's flat because people then could say, well, what about mountains, hills, and valleys? Well, guess what? This is what I believe. It's flat because uh, of the Bible, you know what? What if what if the glory of God was his creation? I'm just saying that this is just a big what if. What if? But I get this idea from the Bible that uh, at the end of days or the end of the age or whatever, you, uh, that 
truth would be revealed to a world that entirely believed a lie. That, so if the whole world had this understanding, but the understanding was a lie, you'd be ridiculed for, for saying truth if the whole world was believing the lie. That would mean there was no other, that what, it was a lie was the, the so then what if, what if God revealed something from heaven? This is the Urbano Monty map from 1587. North Pole, no ice, no ice around any of these areas, okay? There's North America, South America, Africa, India, Russia, China. Okay, so very similar to this map. North America, South America, Africa, India, China, Russia, okay? Only thing different, Australia. There is no Australia here because it hasn't been discovered yet. This is 1587. Australia wasn't discovered until 1606. So that's why that's not there. But my main question is, if this is a globe flattened out and this is on the bottom, right? What the f is this? There's no ice on it. And guess what? Antarctica hadn't been discovered yet. Antarctica was discovered in 1820. And if you look, oh look, there's an alligator. There's a camel. Warm weather animals. So, you want to explain to me, first thing, what the hell is this? All this land. And second thing, what froze them? What happened between 1587 and 1892 where those areas got frozen?